Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Minute. This week I am looking forward to reading Demon Days Cursed Web. This is a anthology book by Peach Momoko written and illustrated by her. This is classic Marvel characters reimagined through Japanese folklore. Uh, and we've got Colin Bunn's Basilisk. This is an excellent horror series um, featuring some very frightening cults. It's very gruesome. I'm liking that one a lot. Very engaging. Wonder Girl by Joella Jones. The art in this book is also excellent. So if you're looking for a new book featuring some Amazons, check that one out. And then we have a second printing of the first issue of Mirka Andolfo's Sweet Paprika. This is sort of imagine a uh, Devil Wears Prada type of story, but set in a weird fantasy world. So check it out. Hello, books I'm excited to read this week include Batman Fear State Alpha, first issue of the new Batman event written by James Tynan. Last Annihilation of Wiccan and Hulkling, Issue 1, Firepower by Kirkman and Samney. This continues to be excellent. We have the first trade if you want to get caught up, and, and then you can catch it in issues. And finally, the last issue of The Many Deaths of Layla Starr, Death Personified. She loses her place as a god and has to live as a human, um, and the fun ensues. Definitely check this series out if you haven't. The art is fantastic. And this week, I am excited to read Telepaths, a book that is once again set in J. Michael Straczynski's new Resistance universe. If you haven't read any of those books, check them out. Not required reading to pick this up, but you should really read Moss, you should really read Resistance, Resistance Uprising, they're all great. Uh, continue to be very excited by Ali Wings. We only find them when they're dead. We're in like a new arc, things have slowed down a little bit, and we're starting to find out more about the universe. And the Midnighter Annual, uh, Midnighter, uh, been one of my favorite characters way back since uh, Warren Ellis' run on The Authority. And then finally, uh, Dark Ages by Tom Taylor. Tom Taylor is probably one of my favorite writers in mainstream comics right now, and the fact that he is doing a Marvel book is very interesting to me. Uh, if you've been following his Nightwing and his uh, Superman Son of Kal-El, both those books have been excellent for DC, so I'm excited to see what he does with the likes of Spider-Man and Iron Man and such.